Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the biggest breakthrough of video and imaging in recent times, 4K. High dynamic range, wide color demo. 4K images have more pixels, giving us more detail in the picture than we've ever seen before. HDR images have brighter highlights and darker, more detailed shadows, much more like how we see things in the real world. Wide color gamut gives us more colors than we ever thought possible on a display, making colors more akin to the world around us. Add these three together and now we have a triple assault on our eyes and our senses. We are now just starting to see some of the most beautiful and breathtaking images than we have ever before seen on a display. Unfortunately, all of this comes at a cost. Bandwidth. HDMI was introduced in 2002 as a replacement for DVI. It was a smaller, easier to manage connector and had the ability to carry audio as well as video. With the addition of HDCP, the studios were on board and HDMI became the new standard for AV connectors in consumer electronics. The early versions of HDMI were low bandwidth, especially compared to today. 4.9 gigabits per second was plenty for a 720p and 1080i image. But as picture and sound started to evolve, HDMI had to evolve too. Fast forward a few years and new versions of HDMI were springing up. HDMI 1.4 was introduced in 2009 and for the first time we could pass 3D, 4K and Ethernet signals and we even saw the introduction of ARC. All of this was possible due to the much higher 10.2 gigabits per second that HDMI 1.4 allowed. We call this a 300 megahertz signal construct. HDMI 1.4 kept us going until consumers once again began to demand higher quality images and displays. Another upgrade was required. 4K had made its mark and all the buzz was around the newest breakthrough in display technology, HDR. HDMI 2 was introduced in 2013 and at the time seemed to solve a lot of our bandwidth constraints. With 18 gigabits per second available, we could now send 4K resolution, high dynamic range, more bit depth, more color, and a higher frame rate down the cable. Using 18 gigabits per second throughput infrastructure is the only way to ensure you can get the most out of the current available content. Here, we can see a list of all the formats supported in HDMI 2, standard dynamic range, and high dynamic range. High dynamic range is the most impactful innovation in imaging systems ever. This is because human beings see in contrast first, not resolution. Now we must look to the future. HDMI 2.1 has now been announced and requires 48 gigabits per second to function. To cater for this massive increase, the new specification raises the signal channels commonly called TMDS channels, from 3 to 4. By splitting the data over more channels, it's possible to increase throughput to 48 gigabits per second on a 600 megahertz signal construct. Put simply, this will be great for movies thanks to the much higher resolution. Gamers and sports fans will also be happier because they can get faster frame rates and HDMI 2.1 is ideal for those who like to stream content, thanks to deep, uncompressed color which will mask streaming artifacts. At AV Pro Edge, we proved to the world that we understand AV. With our 18 gigabits per second test equipment, our HDMI distribution products, and our integrators tools. With HDMI 2.1 and 48 gigabits per second right around the corner, AV Pro Edge is committed to leading the way to the future because that is what we do. We predict HDMI 2.1 content to be readily available in 2021 and we expect to be providing 2.1 ready solutions by 2019. For more information, visit avproedge.com.
www.ghostbusters.com. Always on.